the fourth and final flat trial of week two of the trials is a two mile race for three olds and upwards we've got another big feel for this one let's take a look at the full list Elmar Moore Bard Alex Cherry is at the top the full Greg Beckwith X Adventure Darren Thompson Kiko's Accord and Trey Manor for David Robertson Go Your Own Way Joshua Sutherland Lifelong Martin Leadham Jade Femme Tayside Tiger for Matt Cooper Duke of Dremoyne for Patrick Hogan Fugin Clad Vinnie Gerard Star Deli Alex Cherry, Value of Paris, Ash Munro, that's a new trainer on me, so welcome to you. Z.I.s for Darren Thompson, Mythic Fear, or Derek Hinton, Go Along, Joshua Sutherland, Seminal Moment, Martin Lidham, Sea Endurance for Munas, Lady Well River, Padre Hogan, Fusion Spirit, Vinnie Gerard, and Constant Threat for Paul Rose, just 21 this time then. Over the two mile trip, uh, debutante in the field as well, trainer wise, they're away and racing. A little bit slow to go was Ilmar Mubad. Lifelong also wasn't all that quick out, but Fujin Spirit for Vinnie Gerard has gone out well. Can Vinnie Gerard win all four of the flat trial races? I think we saw Leon do something similar a few seasons ago over on the jumps. Not sure where Leon is. Watching this one, he to Leon. He's going to join in this season. Hopefully, get some horses in later on in the week or later on in the trials that will be coming up in the future weeks. And it's go your own way in the league. From Tayside Tiger in second. Lifelong is in third, then Constant Threat is in fourth. Elmar Moore Bard is after that one. Then Jade Femme. Another one of the big names missing, of course, is Graham Clutterbuck, the former president. Man, I used to keep it all together, so hopefully Gray's doing well. I might be going to pass an interest in this, and maybe he's keeping his powder dry to come back when the season starts properly. Anyway, go your own ways in the lead. From Tayside Tiger in second. Constant Threat is third, the two in the purple and white stripes, the next seminal moment, and the one closest to us is Lifelong, then Jade Femme is after that one, Ladywell River is next, and then El Marmol Bard in the orange sleeves, right over on the far side, the Z-Eyes in the Darren Thompson colours, and you've got the full value of Paris is next, and Star Deli just heads that little back group, the two Vinnie Gerard horses, Fugin Clad and Fugin Spirit, are the back two at the moment, along with Derek Hinton's Mythic Fear. So they're the two trainers have had the best day so far, and they're at the back in this one. But there's still a mile to go, though, and Go Your Own Way has gone his own way into the lead. On Tayside Tiger in second, and then Jade Femme is third, the Fools in fourth, and then Lifelong after that one just being pushed into a third place. Ladywell River is next, Value of Paris running a big race, then Z-Eyes and Constant Threat, Tayside Tiger has lost its place, so to Seminole Moment, Tremanor is trying to get a little bit closer, so to his Fugin Clad, Go Long is struggling at the back, and it's the second of Joshua Sutherland's horses today that appears to be, have something amiss with it, because that one looks to be tailing off as well, but his other one, Go Your Own Way, is clear in the lead by about three lengths with five furlongs still to go. Ladywell River is a clear second. Seminal Moment is third on the far side. Lifelong fourth on the near side. The purple and green in between them of Constant Threat is next and then Z Eyes and Jade Femme Valley of Paris is there. Here comes Fugin Spirit. Fugin Clad also coming with a run. Switching to the outside. The full is still there as well. They're beginning to bunch up behind this leader. Go your own way. Z Eyes has come through to be the first one to challenge. Now Fugin Spirit. Valley of Paris is running a massive race. Then comes Throw Manor on the full. Seminal Moment is out for that one, Kiko's Accord, they've still got two and a half furlongs to go, and Z-Eyes is in the lead from the Vinnie Gerard pair, Fugin Spirit and Fugin Clad down on this near side is Go Your Own Way, the full is there as well, Trey Manor is also still there one or two of the early ones are beginning to drop away, but it's Fugin Spirit who's just in front with a furlong to go Fugin Spirit from Z-Eyes in second then comes Go Your Own Way, Fugin Clad Trey Manor, it's Fugin Spirit in front Z-Eyes is trying to wear him down Fugin Spirit is holding on as they race up towards the line Fugin Spirit is going to take it and Fugit Spirit does it and takes it from Z-Eyes in second Kiko's was after that one and I think it's held on oh it might not have done oh it has it's just held on and Fugit Spirit the angle of that winning post can be a little bit off but it's Fugit Spirit who's taken it 
Oh, Vinnie Gerrard. So Vinnie Gerrard does a Manchester City and clean sweeps everything. For Eugene Spirit, the winner for Vinnie Gerrard. Zi's for Darren Thompson was second. Kiko's a call. David Robertson third. Go your own way. Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Trey Manor for David Robertson was fifth. Looking down the field there, I would say Ash Munro. If that's your, that's your first horse, you done particularly well. You might not think so finishing twelfth, but to be up there for the majority of the race and these are in effect group races of course because they're all running off level weights and that is a pretty decent performance you finished in front of quite a few experienced trainers there so we can get a few more in next time so Fugitive Spirit Taxi Vinnie Gerard wins all four of the flat trials <laughs>